if you're trying to upload video to LinkedIn, at this time, they don't have automated captions or subtitles. And when you're uploading a video, they require that you upload a, an SRT file. Now, the question is, well, how do you get an SRT file? The simplest way, and it's free, might be to upload your video to YouTube. YouTube automatically creates subtitles or captions. And when you are, once, once the video has processed on YouTube and you go into the edit mode of that video, you can click on the subtitles on the left hand side. And next to English automatic, you can click on the three dots and click on download and click on SRT. All right. So this puts a file on your computer called captions.srt. It looks like this. And uh, the problem is that if you try using that file, okay, notice what happens. Um, it's a bunch of errors because YouTube's SRT file is buggy and doesn't have the correct times. Let me show you. So what I do is I go to a conversion tool online. This is free. Um, by the time you watch this video, it might be a different conversion tool that's free, but this one is free right now. Uh, SRT to CSV converter. If you Google that, you should be able to find it. Uh, I'm going to go and click on, uh, get the, um, the file. Okay. Caption to the SRT. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, run conversion. And then, uh, when I'm, what's, what I'm doing right now is I'm going to show you in Google spreadsheet what the caption file looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Google spreadsheet. I'm going to upload the file that was just converted. Okay. There we go. You can do this step by step as well. It looks a little complicated when I'm first talking about it, but if you take it step by step, it should be doable. Now notice the weirdness that's happening here. So first of all, I started this video by talking about, I've got to tell you that one of, but then the end, so that's like at zero, like pretty much at the start of the video, but then the end of that line, it doesn't take me um, four seconds to say, I've got to tell you that one of, okay, it takes me two seconds, right? And then this one doesn't take me three seconds. It takes me also another two and a half seconds. So in other words, this end uh, number should always be the same as the start of the next line. So this is why LinkedIn doesn't accept it. So, um, and you'll notice uh, it, it, it finally, I'm just going to scroll all the way to the bottom. It finally corrects itself at the very bottom, whoops, where this line, second to last line says ends at 815. That's not true because the final line actually ends at 815. So the simplest way to correcting this is just to go like this. Instead of that, we delete this. We, we press enter and then we click on the start of the next line and then we press return. Okay. Return or enter. Okay. Sorry. I meant earlier. I meant delete, not enter. I press delete and then press equals start of the next line and then press return. Okay. And then you could simply copy this, you know, command C on the, on the Mac or control C on the, on the, um, uh, windows PC. And then you select to the very bottom, which in this case is shift command down arrow shift command down arrow on a Mac on the PC. It's a, uh, uh, shift control down probably, and then paste it. Command V on a Mac, Control V on Windows. Okay, cool. Uh, actually, no, I, I made a mistake. Uh, I don't, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna paste it to the very last one. Okay, paste it. Okay, so now you'll notice that every single end line is the same as the beginner of the next one. So now this file should work, but of course I have to convert it back to SRT. So I'm gonna click on File. Download. There's no SRT here, unfortunately, but I have to do CSV. Okay. And then I go to the same website also has a CSV to SRT converter. I click on browse. Whoops. I'm going to click, uh, click browse. Okay. That's the CSV file. There it is. Okay. That's the one I just, I just, uh, downloaded. Okay. Click open. Okay. And then click run conversion. And this is going to spit out a, an SRT file that I can put onto LinkedIn. So instead of all these errors, I'm going to select the new one now. 
SRT. That's the one I just downloaded. Click open. And voila, now it works. I'm going to click done. Well, I've already uploaded this video, so I wanted to show you. But it, I did the exact same thing. So I'm just going to cancel out of this uh, upload for, for now. But I want to show you, I already uploaded this. If I click play, I've got to tell you that one. You see, the um, subtitles are there. Yeah, and it's perfectly synced with my voice. I already checked. So I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any other tips for others who are doing subtitle files, uh, whether it's for LinkedIn or something else, uh, go ahead and comment below. Thanks.